Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to The Outer Worlds. My name is Camel, and today I'll be showing you how to acquire the unique light machine gun known as All Reliable. It is by far the best weapon to pick up while in the Emerald Vale at the start of the game. Although it may prove to be a challenge, it's definitely worth it. Now along with acquisition, we'll also be taking a good long Captain Cook of the stats and comparing it with the light machine gun, its standard variant. Now a timestamp for the overview can be found down in the description and down there you can also find links to my Outer World videos and my social media links. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram after this video. So acquiring all reliable is quite simple but also difficult. The concept and method of acquisition is simple, but the execution, now that's the difficult part. So to get this, we'll need to be in the Emerald Vale. This is the first zone that we encounter in the game. Now in the central north of the Emerald Vale, there is a location called the Primal Nest. As we can see, it's right here on the map. Now this gully of twisted obsidian and basalt columns is where we can find our weapon. But we must tread carefully as bodies of powerful NPCs decorate the floor, giving us the same message as do not enter signs. Now if we stand on the other side of the planet and take a nice scoped weapon to scan the area, we'll see that in a small cave there is a primal nest, just as the location name suggested, but there are about 10 of them. Now this is one of, if not, the hardest fights that we will encounter within the Emerald Vale. So just a forewarning, it's going to be a challenge. Now even if you're not a ranged player and don't use ranged weapons, I would suggest starting the fight from far away so that you can deal some extra damage to them while they come to you. I'd also suggest slamming down some nice powerful consumables before the fight, as to get that extra foot into the ass kicking of the primals. You know, slam some hard stuff into your veins and sling a fisherman's friend into your gob to ensure you stay frosty. And of course, save the game, just in case anything goes horribly wrong, as it did for me the first time I tried this. Now, while fighting the primals, try and pick them off one by one, or just get some huge gun and sling lead wildly into the flesh wall charging towards you. Now be very careful of those N-ray boulders they throw. While a primal behemoth in your face is pretty scary, the real damage will come from those pesky purple rocks. So once all of the primals have been dealt with, keep on your toes and keep an eye on your health bar as not to die from that N-ray damage that will stick around for a few seconds after the fight. But once we're all groovy and gravy, we'll want to wander over to the den in which the primals first lurked, where we saw them when we checked them out with a scoped weapon. Now here, face down in the dust, we'll find the corpse of a corporate commander. In front of them is the weapon we came here for, the unique light machine gun, All Reliable. I feel like this might be a throwback to the unique grenade launcher, Mercy, which can be found in a Deathclaw cave in Fallout New Vegas. You know, that game that Obsidian also made? Anyway, for here and now, be sure to grab All Reliable. Now this piece of gear is a spacer's choice weapon and its flavored text reads, it may be a little slow, but it will last forever. And they're not kidding, as we'll soon see, this thing is tougher than bloody woodpecker lips. So as mentioned, this is a unique variant of the light machine gun. So let's take a look and compare the stats of all reliable with its standard counterpart. And while some of the stats may vary depending on your specific character build, the stat differences between the two items will still be relevant and will just scale accordingly to your character. So as we can see, All Reliable has a base damage of 30, which is significantly superior to the standard variant, which has a base damage of 19. Now its fire rate is 14.286 shots per second. That's not including reload time, of course. Now this is slower than the light machine gun's fire rate of 16.667 rounds per second. Although once we combine the fire rate and the base damage, all reliable comes out on top with a base DPS or damage per second of 429, which is greatly superior to the standard variant's base DPS of 320. All reliable is also a steadier weapon, as it has slightly less sway and spread than the light machine gun, meaning it's more accurate 
although ever so slightly, it's still superior in this aspect as well. But here's where it really lives up to its flavor text, the condition. As we can see, Old Reliable has a maximum condition of 20,000 which is leagues and bounds greater than the standard variance maximum condition of 1500. Now sit back and relax because I did the mathematics for you. So all reliable is 13.33 times more durable than the light machine gun. Now it's not 13.33% more durable, it's 13.33 times more durable. You would burn through 13 full condition light machine guns before you manage to get all reliable out of action and down to 0% condition. This thing will still be kicking, so that condition stat difference is insane. Now not only is it insane comparatively, but I haven't seen any item with a condition anything even close to 20,000. Overall, this makes all reliable just that, very reliable. This thing's sturdier than a 1983 Toyota Hilux. And even though its fire rate is slower, it still shoots with ferocious conviction and doesn't feel slow at all, despite it being technically and mathematically slower than the light machine gun. But you know what? This is okay. It fires slower. Each bullet does more damage, so therefore we use less ammunition to do the same amount of damage. Or we use the same amount of ammunition to do more damage. So just about every way you look at it, Old Reliable here is an absolutely ace weapon. While later on in the game you will no doubt get your hands on something more powerful, this here gun is found in the Emerald Vale, which I dare call the starting zone, and is by far the best gun you'll get your spacey fingers around in the first 10 or 20 hours of gameplay. The only blockade being that brutal primal fight. But if you're up for a challenge and you can pull that off, you'll have yourself a weapon that lives up to its name, and will no doubt make an appearance in all of your foreseeable fights. So here it is, all reliable in action. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for the unique light machine gun, All Reliable. I do hope this video helped you out, and if it did, you'll be very interested in checking out my other Outer Worlds videos that I've already done. Links to them can be found down in the description. Now down there, in the All Reliable description, you can find links to my social medias. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and if you'd like to support the channel in a more personal way, you can become a patron on Patreon, or a sponsor of the channel right here on YouTube. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos that I create for you to enjoy, so your support is most appreciated and welcomed in any and all forms. So thank you very much for watching, thank you for supporting the channel, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon.